Hey guys, it's Lisa here. And in today's video, I'm going to show all of you how to create custom icons for your desktop. One of the fellow moderators in a group that I am part of called Bitmoji Craze for Educators had asked me to make this video from lots of requests from people on the page. Uh, if you have not checked out the Facebook page, Bitmoji Craze for Educators, you might want to do that. It is an incredible group of educators that are super supportive of one another. They share ideas, they share their templates. It's, it's incredible. If you plan on doing that and you are answering the membership questions, please make sure to answer all of them, including the last one that asks if you agree to the terms and conditions of the page. Um, otherwise, your request to join will not be processed. Moving on to the video, uh, the first thing that you're going to need to do is to download uh, a small program, and it's free, of course, you know, if it's free, it's for me. I don't like to pay for any of the things that I, I do with, with my software if I don't have to. So the first thing you can do is go to Google, and in the search box up here, you're going to type in Easy PNG to Icon Converter. The reason you're downloading this is because the type of file that is needed to create an icon is not one that you can typically find when you are saving as on anything that you're doing where you can change file type. It doesn't show up there. Okay, so here, this is the first link, okay, that you're going to click. And be careful when you come into the website, there are a bunch of fake dummy start download buttons here. Don't click those. Click, you know, scroll down a little bit until you see the one that says trust to download. This is the one that you're going to click. I already have it. I don't have to do that. When you do so, a little zip folder is going to pop up down at the bottom probably of your, of your computer um, or wherever they normally pop up. And then you're just going to go through the download process as you normally would for any other program you download. Okay, once you have that, and I just want to show you quickly down here at the bottom of my screen, you see the little butterfly with a document. That's what it looks like. So from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a file um, on my computer. And for me, all I have to do is I have to go into my files. Okay, I want mine to go to the desktop. So I would click desktop. And, and just keep in mind, guys, that when you are, are following this video, this one specifically, try to pay attention to the terminology that I'm using as opposed to where I'm actually clicking and locating things, because on your computer, it might be a little different. I, I am not using Mac. I am I'm using an HP laptop. So uh, even if you're using a Dell or an Acer or Asus, it, it might be located in a slightly different section of your computer. Okay, so desktop. Okay, I would go to new folder here. I've already created my dummy folder, so I'm not going to do that. But if I created it, it would pop up, I could name it, and then it would save it to my desktop. Okay, um, my computer was going a little slow earlier when I tested this video, so I had made one in advance. So right here, it says dummy folder. From there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into Chrome, and I'm going to click on my Bitmoji extension up here. Okay, and then I'm going to want to search for the Bitmoji I want to use to create my icon. Now, great thing about Bitmoji is, is if you don't find the avatar uh, that you're looking for specifically or the, the Bitmoji, uh, what you can do is you can just type in something like, for example, dummy folder. Okay, and some generic Bitmojis will pop up. Now, let's say that I didn't like any of these. You're like, oh, I was hoping a different one would pop up. What you can do to play around with it is just erase this and then type in dummy folder again, and then some different options will pop up the second time, okay? Um, so I have already done this to save one to my desktop, but just to show you if I wanted this one, all I would do is I would right click, okay? Save image as. make sure that it's to my desktop, okay, because that's going to be the easiest thing for you right now, and then I would click save, okay? Like I said, I've already done one because it was taking a little, a little long to pop up, so here's the one that I want. Now all I have to do is open up my PNG converter, okay? I'm going to swing it over here a little bit, and then this is easy as left-clicking and dragging it over on top. There we go. Now all I have to do is hit the convert button over here, it's going to give me the option to save it. Okay, and I'm going to save this as dummy folder icon too, because I had done one earlier just to practice. Okay, so there we go. Now, here is my dummy folder. I am going to right click. I'm going to go into the properties. Okay, and then I'm going to go up here where it says customize. From here, 
I see that there's an option that says change icon. Again, listen to the terminology I'm saying rather than where I'm clicking because it might be in a different place for you. And then I'm going to go to browse because I don't want to use any of these. These are too generic, okay? We're, 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 we're so far past that. Okay, we're fancy. We got to have a, a customized icon here. And then I'm going to scroll down until I find here, dummy folder. This is the one I want. It shows up in here. Get your little preview. I'm going to say okay because that's the one I want. I'm going to hit apply and then I'm going to hit okay. Okay, and you see it changed it right here. Now, what you want, might want to make sure you do is this was the original uh, icon that I did, not the original Bitmoji I downloaded. Okay, you might want to delete that at this point because you don't want it to get your, your photo confused with your folder. Okay, and there, my folder is done. The second way I'm going to show you how to do this is a little different. Uh, you would need PowerPoint to do it, but if you really want to get fancy with it, this is the way to do it. Okay, so what I did here, and I'm going to explain quickly if you have questions about this, I have other videos where I can help you, but I just inserted a circle, I changed the background color, okay, I added my Bitmoji the same way as I did up top. Um, I just right, right click, I copied and then I pasted it here and I used, um, I don't remember what font it was, but I just put in a text box and I made sure that there was no outline and no background on the text box and put everything together. Once I finished, I literally just highlighted over everything and this is already grouped, okay, and it was already saved, but then I just, once everything is done, I would go to group. You see it's not an option right now because it's already saved. Okay, and then I would just hit group. Once it's all grouped together, that's when you're gonna right click and then you're going to um, save, save picture as, okay, and you're gonna uh, save that to your desktop. Okay, I already have it saved to my desktop, so I'm going to come back. Okay, once it's here, you see, again, um, I can either hit the X here to get rid of this or I could have just dragged this over and it would have replaced it. Okay, I'm gonna hit convert again. Okay, and this is going to save under my pictures. So um, what I want to do for this is I'm going to put a shortcut to the Bitmoji Craze for Educator page on my desktop because I go there so often that I want to have a quick access to it. Okay, so I'm going to type in Bitmoji Craze for Educators icon. Okay, perfect. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come. I already have my site pulled up. From here, you're going to come over all the way to the right on the upper right hand corner. Okay, you're going to click the three dots, which some people refer to as the snowman. And then I'm going to go to more tools. Okay, yours might just pop up regularly as create shortcut. I have to go to more tools. Okay, and then Bitmoji Craze for Educators, that's fine. It doesn't matter what it's called because I'm going to change the icon. Okay, now let's see, did this pop up yet? Yes, it did. It's right here. Wonderful. Now from here, all I'm going to do is I'm going to right click over this. I'm going to go to properties. Okay, I'm going to go change icon. See, it's down here this time. Okay, I'm going to go to browse. Again, I'm going to scroll down. Here it is, Bitmoji Crates for Educators icon. The preview pops up. I'm going to hit OK, apply, and OK again. And there you go. And just as before, I'm going to delete that one because I don't want to get it mixed up. And now I have my, my shortcut here. Okay, so I showed you how to do a folder. I showed you how to do a shortcut. You could do it with your recycling bin if you want. Okay, change all your icons. Have fun with this. Um, the last thing that I want to show you, and this is important for everyone, because like I said, uh, you just wanted to pay attention to the terminology that I was using rather than where I was clicking. But if you still have trouble, feel free to pause the video right now and take a picture of my screen. These are different ways that you might get into the customization folders, an area where you can customize your icons on your computer. Okay, this would be for Microsoft. Okay, this page right here. And if you have a Mac, okay, I do not, but I looked this up online. Okay, these are the steps that you would use if you have a Mac. I really hope that this video helped all of you. If you have questions, never hesitate to comment down below to ask. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But as always, do not forget to subscribe, like my videos, and keep your notifications on. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss my future videos. Take care, everyone.